So I guess we're vlogging this week. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dawn if you're new and if you're not new, welcome back. We're looking cute. I think that's why I just wanted to pull my camera out because I feel like I've been vlogging sporadically but it never really made any sense. So maybe I'll actually film in the next like week or so some stuff that's happening. So that way it's a little cohesive. Anyway, so obviously I, my makeup is done, my hair is done. We're also dressed really cute. I'm gonna show you guys the full outfit in a second. I got invited to this new cafe restaurant bar that they're opening. It is the Malibu Barbie Cafe and it's so cute. It's Everything is super pink, like barbied out, like barbied out. They invited a few people to preview it before it opens up to the public. So I'm going and I'm bringing my friend along too. I don't have anything pink. I have like one pink dress. I just wore it. So, but the outfit definitely gives Malibu Barbie. Like it gives like preppy, clean, ugh, I love it. I feel so cute. I feel like this is gonna be a recurring outfit for me, um, especially because I have a lot of tennis skirts and stuff now. I was like, why not pull them into my regular wardrobe? It's a pop-up cafe restaurant bar. They've been doing it in a bunch of big cities. So like I said, it's opening up here in Houston if you guys wanna check it out. And this is the outfit, come on. Is this not giving Malibu Barbie? I actually thrifted this and it's probably one of my favorite thrift finds that I've had because it fits me so good. It's top, I think I got it from Amazon. It might've been from TJ Maxx. I've had this for years, uh, but it's just like an active top. And then also this tennis skirt, I got this from Amazon. Uh, this is a this is a DKNY purse and then also my guess kitten block heels. I absolutely love this. I feel so pretty. I feel so girly. I love that there's a lot of events like this in Houston um, and I'm so grateful to be able to be invited and stuff. But it's so funny because obviously it's a preview so they tend to invite out influencers, food influencers, local influencers that do like things to do Houston, things to do LA and just influencers in the area. The thing is with events like this though, it's a preview showing and they do, when they actually open, they do sell food and they sell drinks. So they'll usually do a preview of the food and the drinks. It'll be past appetizers, so it'll be waiters kind of going around with some of like the popular things on the menu for everybody to try. But the last three events I have been to, quite literally, I got like barely a bite of something. Barely. And I'm not expecting like a whole last meal because like I said, it's past appetizers a little hors d'oeuvre of a little something, a little taste, you know? The last restaurant opening I went to, and it was an actual restaurant opening, um, I literally got like a piece of lettuce and like a carrot. It was crudite, um, but it was a tiny carrot, like barely the size of the top of my pinky. I was like, girl, I'm hungry. Like this wasn't, you know what I mean? Anyways, I digress. So I'm hoping I can at least get a little bit of something and then if not, whatever. I'm gonna go get something to eat after. But I am looking forward to the cute drinks and stuff too and the cute photo ops. You know, it's really fun to do stuff like this. I love when they do pop-up themes. I'm excited. The night is young, so are we, baby? The night is young, so let's have some fun. If you love me right, yeah, this could be the summer of our very mind. Very Strawberry, lemon, and Topo Chico. And then she got the beach mojito, so it's rum, St. Germain, lime, and mint. Taste test. Cheers. I wish I give her a four out of five. I give, I give her like a three and a half. It's not too strong. Three and a half or four. Solid mojito. So we're about 
to go get dinner. It's Houston Restaurants Week. So we're about to go get some pasta and, and eat good. Okay, so we came to this little cutesy Italian restaurant. It's honestly so cute. Um, but it's Houston Restaurants Week, like you said. So we had like the courses. So we got ricotta and then a Caesar salad. So love that for us. <laughs> My three little shrimp. <laughs> So I got the gumberde, which is the spicy shrimp. Um, I got, we got the cacio e pepe to share. Yeah, that's a good size portion. And then she got the chicken parmigiana. Okay, so we got panna cotta and tiramisu. Let's hope it's good. <laughs> Hey bestie, happy Friday. Left off at the Barbie event, so my thoughts there, the Malibu Barbie Cafe, that was on Wednesday, like I said, today's Friday. It's so cute, like, it really is. It is absolutely adorable, like, living out your Barbie girl dreams. It's huge, they have so many areas to sit, all that. The food, they do have food. Honestly, the burger was pretty good. That's really the only thing I got to try other than the hummus. I didn't really like the hummus. And then their cocktails were pretty decent too, so. Definitely recommend if you are a Barbie girl and you just want to live out your Barbie girl dreams, um, definitely go. If you have kids, definitely go. I was literally talking to my friend and saying that I wish my nieces like lived near me for stuff like this because they don't do stuff like this like back in Florida unless it's Miami, right? It would have just been so nice to like be able to bring them, you know what I mean? But yeah, it was so cute, so much fun. They had a roller skating rink. Definitely recommend. I think they're opening this weekend, which I'm sure by the time I post this, they'll be open, open. <laughs> now it's Friday. What did I do yesterday? Honestly, I was kind of going through it yesterday. My anxiety lately, it's just been so high. I don't know why, but we're praying on it. I'm honestly just so excited for the weekend, for today to be Friday. I did some Bible study this morning. I went and got breakfast and a coffee, and then I've been working all day. So now I'm about to get some lunch, and I think I want to treat myself. I wasn't going to, because tomorrow I'm going to my favorite K barbecue place at the moment with my friends so i was like mm, you don't need to and i have one meal left um from my meal prep it's a good one it's steak and you know sweet potato and stuff um i can honestly eat that for dinner later if i feel like it but i have been eyeing this all you can eat sushi place that my friend said is pretty decent I'm about to take myself on a little solo lunch date and eat the all you can eat sushi i want some i want some sushi i want some sashimi i want some gyoza i want all of it i'm glad that i'm doing it right now it's like like i said two o'clock three o'clock but i am still a little scared a little nervous because tonight um uh, me and my friend are doing open play pickleball at our favorite pickleball place i wish open play was not that late i really do so we go back and forth we usually reserve sometimes we'll reserve a court for an hour so it's just us on the court and then sometimes we'll do open play we've done open play once and we've been wanting to do it again we've been playing for a little while so we were pretty decent no we're not the best still beginners slash you know whatever but we're getting pretty good at some stuff and i'm one of those people where it's like i want to be with the good people because that's how you learn you know what i mean like that's how you truly learn is when you are with people that are better than you at something because you learn from them you pick up things from them you pick up tips you see certain things that they're doing and that goes for anything in life okay that's a word right there that's a word right there. The way that it works, there's this table and you put your paddles on the table. There are signs, these little laminated pieces of paper that you put on top of your paddle that say beginner, intermediate, intermediate, advanced, and then advanced. You put your level. So like the very first time we did it right, we put beginner. So we put two paddles, two paddles down, stacked them on top on the table, put the beginner sign, and then two other people that wanna play with you in that same level they will take their paddles put it on top of yours like basically pick it up until it reaches four so if there's like we had two paddles right so if there was one person that was just by themselves they'll put their paddle that makes three we have to wait for one more um or a lot of people go in pairs like kind of like we do so usually it's like two and two so they will grab it say paddles to you know because they're strangers but they're like okay, whose paddles are these? Like, let's go play. If there's an open court, we go and play on the open court. But we weren't really getting any movement. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, if you put beginner, you're probably not, no one's probably gonna play with you for real. The sweet lady that literally worked there, we were like, <laughs> so scared, so nervous. She literally changed it for us. She was like, uh-uh. So she moved it and she put intermediate. There were these two guys that played with us that were really, really nice. Um, they were, they've been playing for a while. They were honestly really good but they were teaching us some stuff and it was fun, they were bearing with us. I feel like we can hold our own now, for sure. 
So I'm excited to play again. But again, I'm a little rusty because I was out of town for like three weeks. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, that's tonight. And oh, I didn't even mention pickleball is for open play is from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. And like you don't have to stay the whole time or anything like that. Like you just kind of like last time I think we left at like 11. I think we got like four games in or something like that. So we played for like an hour and a half, two hours ish and then went home. So you don't have to stay the whole time or anything like that. But I wish it was a little earlier. She's a little wrinkly, but she's cute. It's this tennis dress. I actually got this on TikTok shop, which is insane. I think this is like the first thing I ordered from them. It's literally, I mean, I'm wearing a bra. That's why it, you can see it, but it's honestly, it's not see-through at all. It's super stretchy. It's buttery soft, has the shorts underneath that you just tie this skirt. Literal pickleball princess. So it's a little later in the day. I'm clearly disheveled because <laughs> I've just been resting and scrolling and all that stuff on my couch. Also, I was a bit too shy to film in there. It was like so quiet. It was such a vibe though, genuinely. For an all-you-can-eat place, I'm not mad at it. It was so aesthetic in there. So, so, so pretty. The playlist? Excuse me? They were playing like Die For You by The Weeknd. Panty Dropper by Trey Songs came on. That one had me gagged. I was like, this one here's a penny. I said, so I was vibing. It was very much R and B vibes. It's not the best sushi that I've ever had, but it's also good enough for an all you can eat place. Like, I wasn't mad at it at all. The service was really good. It's 7 p.m. right now. 7 p.m. Friday. Oh my gosh, it really is. 7 p.m. Friday. Me. What's the weather? It's 92 degrees. <laughs> I don't have a man, and a man ain't got me. Okay. I have about an hour and 45 minutes until I need to leave for pickleball. I hate it, but unfortunately, lately I have just been having such a bad habit of what they call doom scrolling. Like I said, I've been sitting here, I've been sitting here just resting, but I have been scrolling y'all on TikTok, Instagram, all the things, mostly TikTok. I feel like it also adds to my anxiety, uh, but I like can't help it. Does that make sense? I will be trying to make a more conscious effort to just be off of it. I like social media. I love it. I think it's a resource. It's great. I laugh. It's entertainment. It's news. All the things. But also, at the same time, I have this thing where I just don't feel like we we are meant to be processing this much information in one day at one time within five seconds. Honestly, it wasn't as bad with like just YouTube because that was long form content or with Instagram um, being photos with TikTok and with the introduction of, you know, certain things on Instagram, like reels and just everything. Everything is just so fast paced. Our brains are jumping from one idea. The next one could be something completely different. And then the next one, something completely different. Algorithms do show you things that you tend to interact with or that you like, but Sometimes that differs because we're multifaceted, right? So I could be seeing a makeup video. Then I'll be seeing an interior design video. Then I'll be seeing a pickleball video. And then I'll be seeing something like off the walls. I don't know why, but I <laughs> I do be on ocean TikTok sometimes. So then I'll see an ocean video and I'm just like, my brain is like overworking. And then you have, like I said, like new stuff or whatever. I have learned so much from TikTok alone. Let me say that my brain is literally tired it is exhausted already with regular things in everyday life and then here i am doom scrolling making it worse and doom scrolling is an hour or longer time frame where you're pretty much just scrolling just consuming hella content that was kind of like a long spiel but i say all that to say i'm trying to be a little bit more conscious about it so that i don't feed into any anxious feelings i read some of my book earlier um, but right now in book club, we are reading A Gentle Reminder, which is a self-help book. I have read a plethora of self-help books. This so far is one of my favorites. It's a very easy read. Each page is a different excerpt. Literally a couple pages in crying. I'm not even gonna lie. It's a very easy read. It's a very quick read because the audiobook itself was only two hours and audiobooks are usually 
like seven hours long or even more depending on the length of the book i didn't want to get up to get some markers it's not focused but you can see i literally folded the edges of some of the pages i wanted to save and i'm also only about a third into the book which is insane like this is something you can keep with you um in your library at home and reference this in whatever time you need it in your life because there's like a million different excerpts that relate to different things there's love in there there's loss in there there's you know confidence in there there's healing in there like a whole bunch of stuff right um easily digestible i like the way that she worded things i like the way that she actually wrote in this book and yeah we were getting we were getting emotional this morning because I think I mentioned it in my last, well, I think I mentioned it with content, but just in general, where I am right now, I feel like I have been in a bit of a rut, which things like that happen every so often. Literally some of the past years I was like, oh, that's hitting a little too hard right now. Honestly, I mean, it's, it's a little long, but I'm going to share it with y'all. Story time. It's okay to take your time. We live in a generation that romanticizes moving forward as quickly as possible when it comes to careers and our futures and our success with them. But there is no point in rushing quickly towards a life that will not inspire you or fulfill you. It's okay to slow down. It's okay to take the time that you need. You're in no rush to figure out your own soul. It's never too late to start over. It's never too late to change your mind. It's never too late to redirect yourself or to replace the dreams you thought you wanted for the ones that genuinely excite and challenge you. So keep going because the world needs your uniqueness. It needs your talent, your art, your mind, the world needs you to take up space within that so you can change it with the vision that you have. You are so deeply capable of doing something beautiful with your life. Don't let roadblocks or self-doubt or the way your journey is unfolding convince you otherwise. Leap towards all that scares you and ignites you. Just try something while you're here. Like I said, that one really, really resonated with me today. Overall, yeah, really good. And I mean, she's cute. She's like a, she's like a green color. We made it, we just played our first game. Love that for us. I look busted. Um, it's midnight. We weren't planning on staying this long, but we played. I had a voice note to her, <laughs> literally saying, "Don, I'm not staying till midnight." Like absolutely. Yeah, she not. was like, "No, your exact words verbatim." Staying till midnight for a pickleball? No, no, I'm not doing that. But watch me. <laughs> but watch me do it. And look, babe, it's midnight. It's midnight. Time check. But time that check. was fun. Oh, 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 oh. Time oh. check. Twelve oh two. Twelve oh two. Twelve oh two. We did that. Down. That was fun. That was fun. Okay, so here's the fit. Some cargos. I think these were from Pretty Little Thing. Um, some platform guest sandals in my coach bag. Comfy, cute, cash because we are going to K-Barbecue All You Can Eat. So, you know, gotta be comfortable. I'm gonna get my money's worth and I'm gonna fill up. So I'm excited. We're also gonna go to H Mart right after because it's across the street because I need to re-up on my tukbuki and a couple of other things. So I'm excited. Oh, you're the reason why I'm thinking. Hungry. I need to get a good mount for my car because it's just sitting on top of my thing right now. I am so hungry. I'm so excited. If you're not familiar with Bel Air or Houston in general, so Bel Air is basically the Asian town. Stores, restaurants, dessert shops, literally everything. Massage places, like so good. And there's a bunch of these plazas. It's so hard to, to pick one, you know? But this is our favorite K barbecue place that we've tried thus far, and we've tried a couple. Um, and it's called Hong Day 33. Bread is here. We got some peach soju, japchae, tukbuki, beef belly, bulgogi, galbi, which is my favorite. We're eating good, guys. <laughs> but then we're, but then we're, <laughs> we look ravenous right now. That's why I think the workers were laughing at us. We look ravenous. After every time they put something down, we're like, <laughs> that's actually we're hilarious. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> never back down, never what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sought it up, sought it up. <laughs> 
The meat is getting, it's almost done. Yeah. 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 Like, Gabby. Yeah. Thank you. Like, oh, look at her. Yeah. Cheers, Bessie. Yeah. Second round. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So they're like, Really nice. Good. We still haven't tried the seafood one. Yeah, I just cakes too. Itemized the seafood. They're so cute. We always got an extra room for some sweets. Hi, Miriam. Hi, Miriam. Hi, Miriam. That custard bun? Custard what you want that custard bun? Ooh, these cakes are pretty. Ube. They're so cute. Look at how cute it is. <gasps> Look at how cute it is. We're on the hunt for mochi. The AC is so hot. So we didn't feel like driving over. So we're in the I'm so embarrassed. I'm a four minute Uber to quite literally go across. I'm not embarrassed. I'm hot. Yeah. Also, that's no, just scary. Look at, my, look at the sweat dripping. It's so hot outside. It's scary. It's so hot outside. I'm not fighting for my life in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, last time that we came, me and Miriam parked up there, and when we walked on the way back, there was a guy that was trying to steal motorbikes out of somebody's trunk. <gasps> that's literally why I don't park there, because I'm like, <laughs> I just don't know. Miriam was parked, right? Yeah. Her car was at the, uh, the top floor. Right next to it was a truck, right? Like a four by four open trunk, right? <laughs> And there were like motorbikes, like uh -huh. motocross ish or but whatever like locked bikes up. locked up in the yeah. bed of their trunk. There was a truck that was because they were right next to it was right next to Miriam's car. There was another truck parked right behind it, basically blocking her in, right? Because she couldn't yeah. leave. And the guy that owned that truck, it was running, he was standing inside the bed of the other truck trying to unlock the freaking motorbikes. That's and we're standing up. there like, and then Miriam's like, hey, like, I'm just, like trying to get out. Like, you gotta move you your car. Like, your time. <laughs> and he starts laughing. He gets in his car, and then me and Miriam are just standing there, like, laughing because we think we're gonna, he's gonna pull off. And he's like, are you gonna pull out? Or are you gonna, are you gonna leave or something like that? And we were like, like, you just wanna finish your crime. Yeah. So, public service announcement don't leave anything valuable in your vehicle ever. ever. <laughs> Ever, uh, not in Houston, babe. And this is why we didn't want to move our cars to try to find parking. Oh, look, where is the parking? Two green tea, two strawberry, two vanilla. That works for me. That works for me. You do that one? I'm okay with that one. Yeah. Anna's going to check out for it so we can eat it. So we got some rambutan and some mango that we're gonna split. <laughs> this is my favorite tofuki with this frozen one. Strawberry mochi, it's good. Mm -hmm. that. This one's sweet. This mm. She's good. But it's cold. She's good. It's freezing. I love that. Go well, the snacks. <laughs> the last one. Is it like Pocky, but it's something else on it? Uh, the. Yeah, it has like big cookies. It's the last one, so I'm like, must be good. I'm gonna do that too, actually. We got another one. Yeah. We're getting also macarons. Yeah, waiting for our Uber. And okay, we also had a macaron. Red velvet. Fun fact, I don't like macarons with jelly. Just the kind. I always liked their macarons. Their juice is like... And coffee right now. Okay, <laughs> I got mine. In the back. <laughs> in the back. Gone. Gone. Oh. Y'all, we made it. Before I hop in the shower, because I need to scrub myself after thrifting for a little bit, I want to show you guys the stuff that I got from H Mart. This is Rambutan. You crack it open, this is a casing, and then it's almost like a lychee. Our fruit for the week. I'm trying these out. I love gyoza and dumplings, but this is spicy bulgogi pork and vegetable dumplings, so I'm excited. My favorite tteokbokkis, so it's a spicy and sweet rice cakes with fish cakes. Cat of seaweed, sweet potato vermicelli for my japchae. Got a bag of cheese curls. If you know, you know. That's my H Mart haul. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Head to bed, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.